Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect. As you can see, we're here on the Normandy after getting back from Eden Prime. This is going to be a half episode. That's not to say that it's going to be half the length of my normal episodes, but this is going to be a completely story episode. Since I have to go around my, my ship and talk to everybody to get some of the backstory, um, it's not critical to your experience of the main story of the game, but it, it is good if you want to know any of the lore of the game and know the stories that are going on. So this isn't going to be an actual entry in the series. It's not going to be uh, part number uh, five. It's going to be part four and a half. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, feel free to skip past this if you don't care about any of the interactions with the characters and move right on to the next story uh, moment. Uh, which will be episode 5, but Commander, I'm glad to for now, we're just gonna interact with everybody hard. and react to our interactions. I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you so, Shepard, in my run here, is gonna be kind of a bitch to everybody, as you know. Caden is pretty level-headed, so he's gonna be mostly okay with that. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad. Real bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. So we can continue to have conversation with Caden here, which, um, if you're nice to Caden, over time it becomes a romance option, which we don't care about with Caden. Uh, maybe in the future I'll give Shepard a romance option. Probably not going to be with Caden. Um, but instead I'm just going to choose to shut him down. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. So he's very professional about the whole thing. Got us some renegade points, which is always nice. Yes, Commander. Dr. Chalk was, which we only met at the very beginning of the game. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. I don't know why Dr. Chakwas has the, the worst clothes the models of anybody in the game, but, but her clothes look worse than anyone's. Sort of They're so bad. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, so there's no real option to be a, a bitch to chalk was for the most part. This is Ashley. Uh, who was the soldier that we met down on Eden Prime, and um, she's going to be understandably upset given we were kind of a bitch After to her. What happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to the ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> so, <laughs> a little bit of cattiness there. Uh, I don't think we can talk to anybody over there. <laughs> they're uh, they're not going to like each other much for the majority of the game. I don't believe they ever get warmed up, but uh, we'll see, I guess. I don't remember from my last time I played Renegade. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. 
Tell him to bring the Norman. You need to die. So the other half of this uh, this episode. I'm just going to let this go as long as it, it needs to go before we go see Joker. Um, and I'm not going to see Joker in this episode because that's kind of a story point. So it's, it's just to explore the ship and kind of give you a little tour of what it is if you haven't seen it before. Or if you have seen it and you just want to look around again and reminisce. So we're going down. Um, this is where the loading bay is. There's not much down here right now, but it'll get uh, slowly populated as you pick up crew members, um, as will this area. Uh, Engineer Adams is down here. This is what powers our ship. And he's going to tell us about it. Oh, I guess not yet. He will eventually tell us about it. You can also run around and examine these uh, these things around the ship that will give you experience. Um, not a whole lot of experience, but it adds up. And you'll eventually be able to level up. So let's see who we can talk to in here. There's, I believe, only one person that we can talk to specifically. Oh, and we can check everybody's loadouts, which I'll do off camera. You don't have to worry about that. I don't know why it's... Oh, it's telling me to uh, to do that because I forgot I have tutorials on. We're going to inspect the Mako just for some experience. Let's see who this is. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers so, sell licenses. So, this is introducing uh, a concept that I think was only... Uh, available in the first game, which when you travel to new worlds, you can pick up licenses for different types of products, uh, armor, weapons, all sorts of things. Um, and each planet offers new ones. They cost a little bit, but generally they're worth it because it opens up better things. And in the later games, they kind of did away with that. You can still purchase things from your ship, but um, essentially it's just whether or not you've purchased from a manufacturer before that will determine whether or not you can uh, purchase from them there are too on your many ship. For me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. All right, and the other positive thing is that you can also sell to this guy anything that uh, you don't want anymore. So we don't have much money right now, and we don't have a Turian, so we don't really care about that. But the Medigel upgrade is useful, so we'll take that. Grenades we haven't really used that much. I'm not too concerned about getting it. What can we sell? And it generally sorts things by <clears throat> lowest value at the top and goes down to the most expensive. Um, and just going through and seeing what we don't care about. We won't do that yet just because I want to uh, spec everybody with the best stuff I can and then sell everything uh, that I didn't grab. But this is kind of finicky. But uh, I'll do that again off camera. There's no reason to do that on camera. So that is the uh, lower two levels of the ship. We can go up one more level and see the rest of the crew, though the majority of the crew up on the uh, the deck here are not interactable. There's only a couple that are and for the most part uh, they are just NPCs that don't have any dialogue trees. They just have a, a line of dialogue. I'm just gonna examine this while I'm here for experience points. And we can see how close we are to uh, leveling up by looking at our squad screen. And this is the amount of experience we have and how much we need for the next level. So we're still a little ways away, especially for just picking up codex items. So Navigator Presley, I believe, yeah, just says a random thing. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the and up here's the galaxy map where we're going to be spending most of our time, um, which we can't look at right now. We're not the commanding officer. But we will eventually be the commanding officer, and we can look at that and choose where our destination is and uh, where we're going to go next. So that's how we're going to be picking most of our missions. Just going to examine that for a little bit more experience. And up ahead there is Joker, and that is where we uh, move on to the next story point. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to head back down, spec everybody up, sell all the ex extra stuff that we don't need so we have some money. Um, and just do a, a few other bits and pieces, and then we'll start the next episode. I'm going to make these every now and then when we get new crew members or when I'm going to talk to people after missions so you guys can get the full story. But in case you don't want it, just please keep moving on to the next episode. There's no problem there. Enjoy it. Uh, thank you much, so much for watching, and have a good one.